you are throwing a ball for the second time. If the ball leaves your hand with twice the velocity it had on your first throw, its horizontal range, R, compared to your first throw, would be A, 1.4 times as much, B, half as much, C, twice as much, or D, four times as much. Now, we remember from before that the maximum horizontal range, R, was given by the equation V naught squared sine 2 theta over G. Now, in this equation, we're throwing the ball again at the same angle, so theta is constant. It doesn't change between throws. G is also constant, so that doesn't have any effect on the second throw. But in the second throw, we have four t uh, twice the initial velocity. So V of the second is twice the velocity of the first. So for case one, first time you throw it, R is equal to V1 squared sine of 2 theta over G. In the second case, second throw, your R is equal to V2 squared sine of 2 theta over G, but V2 is equal to 2 times V1. You square that entire thing times the sine of 2 theta all over G, which gives you 4 times V1 squared times sine of 2 theta over G. Now we see that R1 is equal to V1 squared sine 2 theta over G, and we see that we have that value in the value of R2, so we can plug in R1 into this equation, and we would find R2 is equal to 4 times R1. So this here answers our question. The total horizontal range compared to our first throw would be 4 times as much. So our answer is D, 4 times as much.